Welcome back. What was I saying before so rudely interrupted by that light? Ah, yes. Why can't they make a video program for someone like me? Someone who is not the shiniest penny in the barrel, but someone that does have some computer skills, especially in other programs like SAP. What I would like to see in a program is I would like to see something where I could come home, throw it on the computer, cut it, edit it to the length that crop, well, edit it to the length that I want, such as you know, less than 10 minutes. After I do that, like to be able to listen to it, look at it, make sure it's what I want. Jam it out there on the tube. How difficult is that? Can't be too hard. I guess that's why I use Windows Movie Maker so much. By the time I put any effort into it with uh, PowerDirector 10, it seems like something always happens and the upload fails or something, which sucks, especially after you've put hours and hours and hours into trying to get it uploaded, and then you have to start all over, kind of makes you frustrated. So I end up using, going back to Windows Movie Maker a lot. Sometimes I'll just go out to YouTube and just use their uploader. Like raw footage. You know, that's the way it was when I shot it. That's the way it should be when you look at it. Ah, shade. Sorry about the sun again, folks. It's a little later today. It's, oh, I can't look at my watch. It's 7.30 in the morning. I really need to get some gasoline. Probably in the next 15, 20 miles. I keep grabbing my bike and leaving my car at home to go to work and everything else. I'm thinking I'm going to save gas, but probably using more gas on my bike than I am my car because I love to ride. So I'm constantly on my bike. Oh, there's where I need to go. Conoco. I think they will. Work for me fine. We'll find out. 340. Let me cut this off, folks. I don't bore you with a gas fill-up, and I'll be back.